Invitation to a Gwent tournament, due to take place at the Pheasantry, organized by a certain Count Monier. Around here it's wine, wine, and more wine. for anyone willing to play the Skellige deck. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon. Of this, I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, Organizer-in-Chief. Our turn is more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see? To spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skellige, a new Gwent faction. These new cards, tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit. The rage-filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligers, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts, ogle us from the cards. Bran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Ceres on Kryte, naturally, though not conjoined. Also Hemdal the hero, the venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. New deck? Where'd you get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion. Travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea, consumed by a fever, a suicidal awe, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It, and others like it, inspired my brother to defy the new faction. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skelliger's no worse than the established decks. The best way to do that'd be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. Behold this trophy, standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. Hmm, not bad. Could look great in my house. On the sideboard, maybe. All right, I'll give it a shot. Play using the new faction. That is an exceedingly good rub to my loins. Just one small adjoinder. I can only provide you a basic Skellige deck. My brother, alas, gave away or lost many key cards. No chance I can win the tournament with these cards? An issue easily resolved. You must simply face local Gwent competitors, win the missing cards from them. Besides, it would be very good practice for the tournament itself. Here. The cards I can spare you. Take them, please. The rest I keep for myself, for I too intend to play as Skellige. Already got a good enough deck to play in the tournament as Skellige. Might I have a peek? You do it? Indeed. Come back in two days' time, then, for the start of the tourney. This a face no ointment could help. May we all play fair, show respect for our opponents, and may the best amongst us win. Leave me in peace, Witcher.
Eat, drink, and be merry. If Thus you're thinking women can't play Gwent for shite, you're dead wrong. There you are. A pleasure to see you again. The Skellige faction, how do you find it? Honestly, not one of my favorites. Hmm. Yet I believe you will easily win the tournament wielding it. Any specific tournament rules? Mind giving me an overview? Firstly, might I introduce the contestants? Superb Gwent players all, hailing from the world's farthest corners. Hamal Ochen Dankbali, an Ofieri merchant. Eric van Frog, a patrician from Novigra. And lastly, we are proud to welcome a Skelliger. Ye blind? Not Skelliger, Skelligirl, dammit! Naturally, no offense meant. Agnetha Skolt, her effer charming isle temperament in evidence, along with assorted beats, baubles, ropes. As to the rules, they're simple. Each player adopts a faction they cannot change for the tourney's duration. Lose a match, and you're eliminated. The winner from among you shall advance to the semi-final to face the winner of the tournay's previous edition, His Excellency the Ambassador of the Empire of Nilfgaard, Master von Hill. The winner of that match shall in turn face none other than me, your humble servant. Hand off our Gwent! No new fucking factions! Protesters have gathered outside. Quite a few, it seems. Hands off our bloody game! We didn't want any new factions! Money, you dozy cunt! Stop doubling with dwarven tradition! Change cannot always please everyone. Gwent traditionalists resent my efforts to expand the canon to include Skellige, but we shall pay them no mind. Mind telling me what factions the others will be playing? It is no secret. Eric van Frog will play the Northern Realms. His Excellency, in a flush of patriotism, chose Nilfgaard. Hamal Ochendankbali will play the Monster Stack, and Agnetha Skold has chosen Skoyatel. Yours truly, of course, shall await the winner with a Skellige deck. I'm determined to prove its value. Ready to start if everybody else is. I invite you to join me on the terrace. The Herald shall soon announce the tourney's start. Let the tourney begin! In round one, Agnetha Skult faces Eric von Vrog, and Geralt of Rivia plays Hamal on Gangbali. Let's grab a table. A wager would you wish to make? What did you have in mind? Weapons do I collect, and your sword of silver my eye has caught. Should I win, I should take it. Should I lose, to you another equally precious shall I give. All right. So be it.